You know, it's never too late. Welcome back. Uh, it's never too late to go back to school and get your degree, especially if you're as old as I am. A good friend of the family and also a good friend of the show, my man Kyle Reyes is here to talk to us about going back to school. It's never too late. I, I kind of teased before we, we had you on the show here, Kyle. How old is the oldest graduate this year? Yeah, this past year we had a graduate 69 years old, and it was amazing. She, I, I met her at graduation, and just to have her tell her story uh, to finish that goal was pretty remarkable. Now, a lot of people would be excited. I'm excited about that, but for you and uh, UVU, it's commonplace, yeah. right? That's something that you guys yeah. are trying to work on, right? Getting people to go back and telling them it's not too late to finish your degree. Yeah, President Tuminez always says, you know, come as you are. We have a place for you at UVU. And, and one of the populations that sometimes doesn't feel like uh, there's specific programs for them is our adult learner population. Folks who might have not gone to school ever or did go to school mm -hmm. and, and figured, you know, I've got some credits, but I, I don't know where to finish. I don't even know how to start. And, and also, the university has changed. How do I get back into it? And so we've launched a series of programs and initiatives to really let adult learners know, you know, we've got 80% of our students who are working, 28% mm -hmm. of them are working over 30 hours a week, and, and about a third of them that are over the age of 25. So what we used to call the non-traditional student is actually becoming pretty traditional. Is, have you seen a spike in older students, and I, I, I don't mean it as a disparaging term, yeah. um, since the pandemic? You know, a lot of us weren't hiring, a lot of us were staying home, and maybe school was the option. Is that the reason why Do you think the uptick happened? Well, no, it, we've, we've long had a history at UVU of being accessible, uh, being both a community college and a university, being accessible for our adult learner population. But the pandemic, what it did for us is it allowed us to communicate to um, so many in our community hey, if you've just got a few classes to take, not only can you just take them really quickly with us and upskill and, and, and get closer to that degree, associate's degree or bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. but come and do it online. We, we knew that we could deliver uh, remote classes and we have scholarships. We have advisors who specialize in helping folks come back. We also have on-campus daycare for those parents who are saying, you know, I'm not sure if I can afford daycare. We've got very affordable daycare where they drop their children off for an hour, go take their class, pick them up. And so we've really tried to open this up for so many adult learners to return back to school. Yeah. I, I have a, a question that I, that I just thought of. Yeah. I wanted, and if you could elaborate a little bit about this, just, and I'm sure we already know this, right? That if you get a degree, the pay will be better, this and that. How, how much of a difference from not having a degree to having a degree, just to remind everybody at home why this is why we're talking about? Yeah, well, national studies show that over a lifetime, the difference between having a bachelor's degree and not having a bachelor's degree is about a million dollars over a lifetime. And that's across all industries, right? That's across every possible major and industry you can think of. And so at UVU, one of the things we talk about is come and, and stack your credentials. Come get a certificate. And, and if you need to hit the workforce, great. But at least you have a credential after a year or even shorter amount of time. Then layer that into an associate's degree, which is, again, a meaningful degree that can then layer into a bachelor's degree. But yeah, I mean, to your question, the payoff is still, still pretty tremendous. And I would also think, uh, to, just to add to that, how is that now is probably a good time since the workforce is slowing down just a little bit. I know yeah. we all hate that, but this might be a great opportunity to go, to go get your degree. Yeah, and like I said, the menu of options we have at UVU is, is better than it's ever been in terms of, it, you know, it's no longer just let me go and get a four or five year experience at a university in a traditional way. Yeah. We have so many options for folks to come and just get skilled up. Uh, we have grants. We've partnered up with the Work and Learn program where folks can just come and say, you know what, I like my job, but I really would like to advance in my job, and they're requiring a certificate. So come get a certificate of proficiency. Yeah. Come get an associate's degree. It doesn't have to be what uh, we consider to be the success of, of yesteryear. There's so many definitions of student success now. And one thing that I learned, I, just, I discovered in my own journey, is that my work habits, my work ethic was a little bit different than when I was 18, 19, oh, yeah. and, and doing mostly this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I was actually focused. So for those, those adults out there, older adults like me that went back, this might be a perfect time. You'll probably get, do better than when you did when we were young. That's just my opinion. Are you showing any results or, or data like that? Oh, definitely. I mean, we, we have a program that we called Some College No Degree, or oh, the Returning Wolverine Grants, where we reached out to thousands of, of folks in our community, adult learners, and said, return back. About 3,000 returned and about 400 have finished their degrees in just the last four years from that program. And, and one of the things that's been key is, just as you said, when they've returned, it's, it's been different. They're now supporting families. They're now taking life a little bit more seriously. And they know that the investment that they're putting in, in just time and resources, they want to get something from that. They want to get something meaningful from that. And we've told folks, just go to uvu.edu backslash student success 
And right there under Adult Learner, you'll see a series of resources that they, that they can um, access. Cousin, it's always good to have you on the show. And, and also, um, it's probably the easiest time as we've been talking about it, but I, I want to suggest, because I had, I had a difficult time, maybe yeah. some orientation for older guys, because I felt like, man, I, I'm, the, I'm the oldest guy in this room. We've so, got that too. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous, but thank you for throwing out the website. It's right there again on the bottom. We're going to put a link on ours so that everybody can get your information. Anything else that we forgot? No, we're just excited to welcome students back for this fall semester and go UVU. Yes, go Wolverines. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you.